Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing WebRoot antivirus and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 250 samples in total, and we will be using these samples to test how well WebRoot does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment I will enable WebRoot and we'll let it sit for just a few moments to see if it can detect anything on its own. After which we will then run a system scan. If there's any samples remaining we will scan the samples folder directly. If there are any samples after that we will then execute the remaining samples and see if the real time protection can stop them. Let's make sure WebRoot is up to date and we can see that we are good to go so let's go ahead and enable. Everything is now turned on so we'll go ahead and let it sit for just a few moments. So far nothing has popped up but let's check our samples folder and it looks like we still have 250 in here so at this point let's go ahead and scan the computer. We will let this finish and we will be back with the results. The scan has completed and it found nothing so we'll go ahead and close this. We are going to try a custom scan. We'll try the deep option. Let's go ahead and start scan and we will be back. And that still found nothing, so we'll go ahead and close this. At this point, we will try a full scan, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Start Scan, and we will be back. A full scan has completed, and it came back with multiple positives, so at this point, let's go ahead and click on Continue, and we're going to go ahead and remove the threats, and we're going to hit Continue again, and remove threats, and let's double check our samples folder to see what's remaining. We have three samples left, so let's go ahead and do a direct scan. and it did not detect anything. So at this point, we will go ahead and execute the remaining samples. And at this point, we will go ahead and restart the computer and run some second opinion scans. After restart, I ran a scan with Malwarebytes, came back with four results, so let's go ahead and quarantine. I also ran a scan with MDSoft, which came back clean, no results detected. That's everything for this test. You can take those results and draw your own conclusions, but please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. WebRoot very well may perform differently in other types of tests. But that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, please hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.